Well, in one of my recent Sunday night short videos, you'll have seen a little slideshow of me putting together a Velman 3D printer. And uh, overall, quite impressed with the uh, what you get for the money, but there are a number of known issues uh, with them as presented. And one of them is referred to as Z-axis wobble. And they just use a length of um, M8, um, by 1.25 pitch all thread um, as a lead screw and they have a screw on coupler uh, that tries to go from a tapped hole uh, to um, an M6 with a set screw and you get a little bit of a problem there quite often the lead screw is, is bowed this bit of um, all thread I found kicking around is pretty straight um, but what I want to do is to turn this down to M6 and then use a, uh, a flexible coupler and in order to uh, hold this concentric you know the outside diameter is pretty crude so I've got a little bit of bar stock from the uh, odds and ends tray and I'm going to drill and tap it M8 and then I'm going to slit it and hold it in the collet chuck so that it's holding the thread hopefully on its um, on its flanks um, where the nut's going to be running and uh, then I'll be able to turn the end as concentric with the thread as possible so uh, I'm trying out my new APT APT um, tool and I'm going to have to get the centre height set so we'll just face this off. And we're a little bit high because it's a larger shank than the tool I replaced. way to centre there because I could see that we're um, cutting above centre and I didn't want to risk damaging the insert by going over centre let's drop down a bit and try again So we're under that time, which is fine, and we can just work our way up a little. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bring up the spotting room. seen Adam recently got a copy of the Zeus book and uh, Tom too I mean mine's I've had mine long enough that it's uh, it's fading but uh, probably the most used thing in here is uh, metric threads so we're going to be tapping M8 now the a, a good rule of thumb is if you can subtract the um, the pitch from the diameter to get the tapping drill, which would give us a um, um, 6.75, but they're actually specifying a 6.8, and I don't mind going a little larger, seeing as this is, um, I don't want any interference at the root. And then the other bit that gets used a lot is the, um, the equivalence chart. So, 6.76 is an H drill, so I'll go for the 6.95 and I. Nice um, M8 um, spiral point tap. I'll bring the speed down a bit. the jog.
I've got a, um, it's a pretty long hole and there's uh, a limit to how far I can go in with this tap so using the, uh, the jog was gave me a bit more control so that's now done and I just need to um, put it in the vise and put a saw cut in it. I've got the all thread just held straight in the 3-jaw chuck at the moment because the, uh, the end was damaged and uh, I just want to clean that up before mounting it in our now um, split holder which I, I just did that with a hacksaw in the vise and deburred it. Uh, ran the tap back through it again just to clean the burrs off the inside of the thread. So we'll face this off and put a bit of a lead in. Let's have a little more speed. I thought this was M8. It's not M8. It uh, looks like it's 5 sixteenths inch um, UNC. So, uh, job isn't going to happen this evening. I'll have to actually find a bit of M8 all thread. Um, or actually take the lead screw off the machine and modify that one. I really wanted to make up a um, one ready to swap in. But uh, that's what happens when you're um, picking up a bit of all thread from a pile that's all supposed to be metric. This one, it turned out, isn't. Well, I went back to the, um, the resources pile, and uh, this is M8 all thread. Um, I don't think it's long enough, but I'll uh, I'll machine the end anyway to. Uh, demonstrate the principle. Now I did say I was going to put it in the collet chuck, but to be honest, this um, this three jaw sent us to uh, a thousandth of an inch or so, it's pretty good. And the, uh, you know, the all thread isn't any better. So we're just going to turn this down to um, six millimeter for a length of oh, 10 millimeters or so. So we'll come in and take a, uh, a facing cut and zero the DRO. the uh, chuck sufficiently tightened. enough of a grip well the um, the collet wasn't holding and it was too too stiff with with this length which I, I wanted so I've added a, a saw cut down most of its length 
And now hopefully the three jaw chuck will be able to compress it. I may still add a lock nut as well, but we'll see. And I'll put the end of the slot just beyond the end of the, the jaws. touch off on the end and, and zero since we're not particularly fussed about accuracy. Let's see if this will stand up for the turning forces. millimeters of length near enough so we've got uh, 6.4 eight agreeing with the DRO so we'll come down to the nominal six millimeters job done and uh, if this isn't uh, long enough I'll do another one but uh, you know I think I've demonstrated that this is a sometimes a way of getting a job done Turned out pretty well. <laughs> 